sample for my personal truck. When we do all the swap, I want to change the color from green to uh, uh, gray. So, my good friend Danny boy here is going to help us figure that out today, maybe. Kind of get an idea, so I kind of need to know what direction I want to go. So, this is a baseline gray. I've shot a few colors over here. None of them have really perked me up a little bit, so. He's right. This is my homeboy, Dan. He's the most awesomest of awesomest paint mixer rubber guys. And he's here today to work with me on shades of gray. From what I understand, there's 50 of them. So we're gonna work this out together. Get through all 50 shades of the gray. Get where we wanna be. Hopefully by the time we're done, we're both completely satisfied with the color we choose. And uh, that's about it. And then I'm gonna ship him back up to Pennsylvania once I've used up his skills and talents. You gotta have the right color. That's the deal. I mean, if you don't have the right color, you fail. It's like wheels. Things that make cars. Colors and wheels. If they're not right, it's a complete fail. And interior. Interior can feel a car too. My biggest thing is it feels a color. I think different cars have different lines and they need different tones to go with them. So as far as my truck, I want a gray because I want blue wheels. I know that sounds crazy, y'all just hold on. I want blue interior. I really like the green on my truck, but I think I'm over it. I don't want black interior. Everybody has black interior, but it's gray. I really like blue. Our uh, C10 that we did a couple years ago had blue interior. I loved it. I like the cold trickle of painting. You know what I mean? Give me explain. Full trip. All right. Anybody doesn't know who Days of Thunder is, you can just unsubscribe. And uh, so Days of Thunder, Cold Trickle. He can drive. They put him in the car. They told me to drive. I can drive. That's how I would paint. Put a gun in my hand. I can paint. I'm not scared. I'll do it in front of anybody. Nothing makes me nervous. But as far as all this jazz, I have no idea how all this works. Numbers and what colors kill other colors. You know, I got too much yellow, add this to counteract it. Blah, blah, blah. So, that's where Danny comes in. That guy knows everything about this and he can paint. So he's like, better than me. That's not, that couldn't be any further from the truth. 100% true. He's the, uh, what's the, the, the old man actor that coaches Tom Cruise. Yeah, what's the, uh, talking about the, the what movie? Days of Thunder. Are you talking about, uh, Robert Duvall. Robert Duvall? Oh, he's real. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. It's Robert Duvall, yeah. Because doesn't he wear a chunker cap in the whole movie? Harry, hey. I'm cold. You're Harry. I'm Harry. How much lighter do you want to go than this? Like shade wise. One shade, two shades, three shades. Probably more than. Because we're going to be right now bluer and cleaner than that. I just want to make sure it's not too blue. Spray this out then. Let's just spray this out. So the paint line that Casey uses is the BASF Onyx HD. And the reason he uses the Onyx HD is because out here in Texas, the, they have a lot of fluctuation and it's generally pretty hot. So he has the ability to mix low VOC solvent or low VOC waterborne off of one bank of toners. So right now, um, we're actually mixing this color up in, in a solvent born for his test panels. When it comes down to him doing a full truck or if he's doing a big job, he has the option to take that same formulation and convert it into a water board. Uh, for everything Casey's been doing, generally it's been, it's been uh, the compliant solvent. So it's working well for him. It, it dries nice. Uh, you know, it works, it works exceptionally well in, in the Texas temperature. So he's been using a lot of the low VOC compliant solvents and um, yeah, that's kind of the, that's the long and short of the paint line. 
So what we're doing now is we, we used a formulation that we modified a little bit to try to get it kind of where he wanted. And, but it has a, a lot more complexity in the color, so we're gonna make one that's a lot more basic. That's basically, in the BASF line, we call it an L shape. So we have LO1 through LO7, and this is an LO2. So LO2 medium dark gray is a generic shade of gray. So what it is, is it's basically our SBO5, which is a, a solid color binder for the low VOC solvent. It's gonna have two toners in it, and then some catalysts. So that's what we're gonna do with this one for our next test panel. HB990 white. And then we literally have black, HB250 black. goes in this is some low VOC hardener and that's only when you're spraying onyx solvent. When we're spraying the onyx waterborne base coat we don't use a hardener in it but with the solvent we do. So what we're doing now is uh, Casey is spraying an onyx solvent. It comes stock in the system with basically one reduction, and the reduction is 70%. So we're gonna modify the reduction for him a little bit and take it from 70% down to 50%. So what that'll do is that'll give us a little bit better coverage on some of the poor hiding colors, but it'll still lay down nice and it'll still, it'll still dry really well. So we're gonna modify a formula in here for him for future reductions of metallic colors. So now he's got a couple different options for his metallics. So the, the clear that Casey's using on this, he carries two clears at the shop. He carries a clear called DC5335, which is the BASF Glamour clear, and he carries DC5600, which is a kind of a production clear. So on all the show cars and, and his full builds, he's using the Glamour clear. When he's doing test panels to send to customers, when he's doing something he wants to take outside quick to look, he uses a little bit faster of a clear. Uh, no matter what clear he's spraying, he's using a SADA RP with a 1.2, and he's probably somewhere in the range of 26 to 29 pounds of the gun, and that would be for both clears. So 
this clear, it'll be dry to touch in about 10 minutes. We'll take it outside and we'll, we'll see if this gray is kind of where he wants to be. So in conclusion for today, um, we've mixed some grays up. We've shot some things. Um, I wasn't liking the side tones on it, so we went uh, with the toners just white and black. So we got a variation that we liked. I really, really want blue interior in this truck. So as you can see, I think they, they complement each other very well. Uh, I changed my mind on colors like I changed my underwear, so it's not a whole lot, but I do change my mind. So for now, this is good. I'll deal with it. Um, but I really just I picture these two colors. I'm going to do like an old school rally wheel with a brush lip and factory center caps. So I think this color is going to be just right for it. But like I said, I'll change my mind between now and then, I'm sure. But for now, just uh, like, subscribe, and share.